Hello everybody, this is Nick. Thank you for coming back to the basic tutorial on how to search the database. Just a quick recap, or for those of you who skipped the introduction and just wanted to get straight to the basic tutorial, we will be searching a database on OneSearch, which you can find at library.sjsu.edu. Now, as I stated in the introduction, we are going to be going under Subject Guides, this drop down menu right here. You can click on this and scroll down to Film and Theater or simply type F. Film and Theater. Go. Okay. Now, this is the uh, main guide page for any uh, TV, radio, film, theater class, as I mentioned. And we will be focusing on this film and television liter in literature index with full text. It'll bring us to this page. This page is how you search the database. It defaults to advanced search. We want to do the basic search. Now what I'd recommend doing first is signing in. This will help as you get farther along in your research, but we're going to go ahead and sign in with Google. And since I've signed in before, it already has saved my information. Uh, so that is me. Okay, so a bit overview on the page. This uh, right here will tell you for basic search what database we are searching. To click on here, you could add more databases uh, or just change to a different database. But film and television literature index with full text is what we will be searching. There are several filters here on the web page, as you can see. The main filters that I personally usually use are Boolean phrase filters. So this means, uh, let's see here, if you do film and books and comics uh, it will bring up results that have film books and comics it narrows down your search if you do film or books or comics or broadens your search so uh, let's say you're not really sure what you want to look uh, for in the database specifically there's also an option for smart text searching. What this does is you can enter a phrase, uh, yeah, so you can enter a phrase, sentence, paragraph, or even whole pages, and this will search the database uh, and help you find articles related to that. Full text is also a good uh, a good tool when you're searching the database as it allows you to view the full text within that database. Now this may limit your search to only documents within that database as it can't pull out the full text from other databases and as we learned in the introduction these databases you could search the San Jose State Collection, the Cal State Collection, or even worldwide. Some professors may want you to only search uh, using articles or just documents from a certain time period. That's what this publish date filter does. So let's say you only are allowed to look for something from the last 30 years. So we'll do 1990, December 2019. So like I said, that will just bring up results within the last 30 years. Now, there's other filters that you could put on uh, language, I suppose, if you're looking up something from a different language. I only know English. Most of the results I get will come up in English for this database. Uh, but publication types, so you can look up academic journals, books, encyclopedias, periodicals, trade publications. I usually leave that to all. There's other document types where you can bring up abstracts, articles, bibliographies. There's a lot more for different document types. I usually leave that set to all. So let's go ahead and do a uh, 
search. Let's use smart text searching and we'll just put our film adaptations beneficial or harmful to the film industry since that's the topic that we are trying to do our research paper on. So we can do a search for that. So as you can see, it's pretty broad. Search results are right here. There's over 400,000 different results. And as you can see, some of these aren't doesn't seem like they're really related to the topic that we want to study. It bring, excuse me, burped. Uh, it brings up all of these search results. Um, so just like I said, as an example, for full text, there's a link here. Click it, and it provides the whole text of that article. This one's pretty short. We'll go back. Gotta move this window out of the out of the way. So when you're here, after you have uh, you see all these search results, and you think, "Oh my God, how am I supposed to you know figure out what I want between these four hundred thousand film results?" There are different ways to parse it down. You have a peer review, which I like to do for research papers because peer-reviewed means that there's other experts uh, and people who looked at the work that are the document and you know verified its uh, legitimate legitimacy and just by clicking on that we've eliminated look at that it's gone all the way down to only 32,000 other ways to filter down the search are here so source types you can see how many different academic journal articles there are, reviews, magazines, and books. You could also do filters here for subject, publication, publisher, and language. Kind of like what we had in the previous page. So this is kind of how to do a basic search. Follow me on the next tutorial where I'll teach you how to do more advanced searches and other tips on how to be efficient with your database search and researching.